10 right here, says 534, low altitude alert, show you 1,300, can you climb a little bit? I'm zero in, just hurt. Oh, I can't see where I'm going. I'm okay, mm-hmm. building. What's up, guys, and welcome to ATC Point of View. If you are new to the channel, my name is Lex, and thanks for joining me. This incident happened on June 16th, 2022. A Cessna 206 pilot departed from Austin Airport in Texas to do a maintenance test flight. But shortly after taking off, he started to experience some kind of mechanical issue. So he declared an emergency and tried to make it back to the airport. So let's check it out. Number 554, runway one, left line of way. Traffic, sky, climb off funnel. Very good, sir. Just make sure our numbers are correct. Stationary 52854, line of runway 18, left echo. It's stationary 82554 now. Correction, sir. 52854. Eight tower, Southwest 2652, uh, visual 18 right. Stationary 854, turn right heading 240, contrary turbulence, departed Airbus, from runway one, left, clear for takeoff. Very good, sir. 8240, zero degrees, watch the lake. 854, is on the roll, on eight left. Tower 2100, two hold short, 18 left, ready to go. Southwest 2652, Austin, runway 1 right, clear to land. 18 right, clear to land, Southwest 2653. Air 52854, Austin. Station air 52854, contact departure 119.0 if you're still up. Station air 854, contact departure 119.0. Air 52854, Austin. Air 54, go ahead, sir. Yeah, 52854, didn't hear checked on, but uh, maintain VFR, altitude discretion, proceed on course, rusty LF. Uh, Hey, Paul Hard, that's sir. We'll be heading to uh, uh, 40 X ray Sierra here temporarily. Hey, Paul. Okay, then uh, here, proceed direct to breakaway. Hey, Paul. Center 24 Alpha Shark, contact Houston yeah. Center 134.2. 134.2, 24 Alpha Shark. United 571, turn right direct payday. Right turn direct payday, United 571. Austin Approach, Austin Approach, Station 854, uh, Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. I can smoke in the cockpit, request direct to Austin Brooks Report. 52854, you need to make an emergency landing here at Austin. 854, permit. Okay, uh, 854, then uh, turn, if you're able to, turn right heading of uh, 080. 5800, 0854. Departure 219, Tango X ray, uh, 1800 for uh, 3500, 210. 219, Tango X ray, Austin, departure, radar contact. 52854, are you able to give me fuel and salt on board? 854, I have uh, almost zero visibility, one person on board. And three, uh, and two hours of uh, fuel port. Okay, 854, I'm showing you at 1,600. Are you able to climb a little bit just for the altitude? And I'm sending you off for runway 18 right. All right, sir, I'm heading uh, 060 right now. I can barely see inside this cockpit. And, uh, and uh, when you want me to heading 0 zero. Okay, if you can barely see, that's fine. Just uh, stay, uh, keep your wings level and just fly your present heading right now. 854, okay, so yeah, we got side windows open now. My visibility is improved. I don't know what's going on here, but I got a real problem. American 533, contact Houston Center 134.2. 342, American uh, 533. 854, I got really high engine uh, temperature, really high all temperature this time, sir. Okay, the airport is right now is 1 o'clock and about 4 miles. Do you have, are you able to see it inside at all? 854, we're looking for, uh, not quite yet. Okay, right now your altitude looks like it's pretty good. The uh, minimum vectoring altitude in the area is about 2,005, which is continue your heading right now, and I'll, have, I'll point out the airport to you in just a moment. You're about 4 miles from the airport. Hey, Papa, where's that? Sir, a little bit of visibility now. We're looking. 219 Tango X ray, climb your discretion, proceed on course. Uh, I'll take my discretion on course, 9 Tango X ray. 52854, if you want to continue the heading, I'll turn you over onto final if, you, if you're able to see. Hey, Papa, sir, I'm going to make your mark into this place. Miles. Papa, I'm part of my way. 52854, okay, um, are you still unable to see anything out your window? Negative, sir. Okay, roger that. And right here, says 534, low altitude alert, show you 1,300, can you climb a little bit? I'm zero in, just hurt. Oh, I can't see where I'm going. I'm okay, mm-hmm. building. 52854, there's the interstate highway, is just, uh, just off your left side, a little bit off to your left, about 11 o'clock, are you able to see the interstate highway? I'm going to have to get in the water here, sir. 354, uh, I'm showing, is there any way you can start climbing? Okay, we're getting uh, we're going to get fire services ready for you right now. Number 52854, radar contact loss about three miles northwest of the Austin airport. Approach, Niner Tango X ray, is that Decker Lake? Niner Tango X ray, the aircraft just went down at, uh, looks like Ladybird Lake, about three miles northwest of the airport. We're on route. 
Southwest 2023, 9.2 on the lakes with Yankee. Southwest 2023, just uh, for now, hold off on a second. We had, we've had an, uh, an emergency, probably uh, an aircraft go down uh, northwest of the airport. We'll keep you advised. Southwest 2023. Approach 9 or take bike, sir. 9 take bike, Yes, sir. Was that uh, last contact? Was that uh, Lady Bird near downtown or kind of was it still west of 35? Let's see, I just got in, sir. From where he is, looks like it was just west of 35 along the lake, so it looks like maybe about a half mile to a mile west of I-35 on the uh, river over there. Okay, we're scanning. Thanks, sir. 219, take away, sir, approach. 219, take away, sir, go ahead. Uh, we've located it. It's uh, maybe uh, a little ways from the shore and uh, about where you described. Okay, thanks, sir. Yeah, it looks like we got a helicopter down there, and I guess it looks like he's on the... Uh, Sure. Yeah, the location the location you had was right about half mile from uh, 35. Oh, thanks, sir. Based on the aircraft's ADSB track, he makes a right turn to the assigned heading of 240 immediately after getting airborne. He never asked the tire controller for an early turn, but if this is indeed a maintenance flight, then he's really not leaving himself somewhere to land in case the engine goes out during his initial climb. There was still about 6,000 feet of runway remaining when he started that turn, so that's very poor judgment on his part. At this point, the approach controller tells him to proceed on course to Breakpoint Airport, which is about 25 miles north of his position, so it's a very short flight. And somewhere around here is where he starts to experience the smoke in the cockpit, losing visibility and overall awareness. He's on about a 060 heading, looking for the airport, but it's extremely difficult because of all the smoke. And to make matters worse, as he gets to about here, his engine goes out completely. Now he's just gliding and still can't see the airport. As he gets lower, he's able to see the lake and tries to make a landing there. Let's check out the local news coverage and see how it panned out. Mechanical issues causing a Texas Parks and Wildlife aircraft to crash into Lady Bird Lake this afternoon happened just west of I-35. The only person on the plane was rescued by two paddle boarders. It's incredible. This pilot is being treated at the hospital for potentially serious injuries, but otherwise he's okay. We have a lot of incredible images and videos showing how this all played out. The pilot is a Texas Parks and Wildlife Game Warden. He was conducting a test flight after maintenance. He did report that a mechanical issue happened before plunging into the lake. KXAN's Jennifer Sanders live for us along Lady Bird Lake downtown where the plane went down at right after 2 o'clock this afternoon. Jennifer, you spoke with the paddle boater who helped get this pilot out of the water. And that's right, Robert. I just fin finished speaking to Nicholas Compton. Now, he gave me a full account of everything that happened. But before that, he did ask me, is that pilot OK? That was the first thing he wanted to know. Now, before I get to his account, I want to take you out and show you what's happening right now. You can see that crews are trying to get that plane that's still there in the water. They'll be here for several hours. Still no timeline yet on when exactly that plane will be taken out of the water. Now, let's get to Nicholas's account. He told me that he heard a crash this afternoon and he assumed that it was something that happened on the highway. But then he said a paddle boarder told him that a plane had crashed into the lake and that's when he rushed out there with a life jacket and he encountered the pilot. He said that pilot was in distress. He was panting heavily. There was limited conversation with them because he just wanted to get that pilot to safety. So he said there was also some smoke coming from the plane as well. He immediately put the life jacket on the pilot pilot and then it took them about five minutes to get to shore. I was expecting to see something much worse than a man still alive floating. Um, so I was very relieved to see that um, he was still conscious and everything. So it wasn't much thinking except for just getting him to the shore to medical services. And again, at last check, that pilot is in the hospital tonight. We've been talking to a lot of people who witnessed what happened out here. You can see Agents are still here on the ground trying to find in the water, trying to make sure that that area is secure for their investigation and still no timeline again on when that plane will be out of the water. But we'll be working to get more details from them and also we'll hear from more people who witnessed this incident today here on the lake. Back to you in the studio. This is such an incredible story and great job by the bystanders in helping save that pilot's life. To have an engine go out when you only have one is terrible news for any pilot. 
But to have it go out and not being able to see where you're going is very, very scary. So you can kind of feel for that pilot. The air traffic controller, really, there's nothing more he could have done. I've been in his position before. And you get scared, too, because you're the pilot's last hope. And regardless of what happens, if it ends terribly, you're always going to blame yourself, even though you provided the best service that you, you could at that time. But guys, share your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about this incident. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. As always, peace.